Good evening, folks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, just kind of update you on a couple things here. Uh, the ditch lights are in, as you see. Here's the front porch where the wires come out. Um, there's where the ditch lights are. Um, as you can see, it looks like there's like a little uh, lens over the front of it. Uh, that is the micro crystal clear. Uh, I put those in there for two reasons. One is to glue the lights and the LEDs in. And number two is it dries clear. And if you leave a little tiny bead on the top of it, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you do a first coat, let it soak in, and then do your second uh, little bead. It'll make like a little round headlight lens and it dries that clear color. Uh, the other thing that we've done already is we've put our lights in here. Uh, you saw in the last one how I cut it. Um, as you can see, you got your two little lights up here in the front, uh, your headlights. Um, and if you look, you can see how they stick out a little bit. Uh, so they kind of make like a little round dome uh, when you actually turn them on. There's three LEDs in this. Uh, there's one LED for the number board. Uh, in part one, you saw where I cut a little space out. Uh, to run the LED headlights. Uh, there's one headlight in each one uh, They go back and then like I said one for uh, both number boards in that plastic I drilled a little hole in it and just slid the little 401 LED up uh, The back we didn't change any at all um, It'll stay the same uh, those lights are the light for the back LED uh, the, the two lights for the uh, the little headlight part and for the number boards for the back it lights up really good uh, you can see it real well um, I don't run in reverse very much so ditch lights back there at a super bright backup light uh, is as needed as much as a super bright front light the other thing that we've done is on the board um, get my knife here so I can point this out uh, back here, we took out this LED right here, uh, which was number four. We took that out to use, um, for the number board. So that's going to be the number board LED. Up here, we took out this one here. This is going to be for one ditch light here. And on the bottom right here. This is going to be for the other ditch light. This is aux 1. This is aux 3 right here. It's aux 3. So those are your two ditch lights for the front. This here is where both of your headlight LEDs will be connected. Um, so uh, that way they'll still work with the way it goes uh, with a bit forward. Now this is your reverse LED. I didn't change it. I left it there because it will be used just like it is. And if you look here, this LED right here is for the rear ditch lights, which I didn't do anything with it either. I just left it where it was. Um, so that's where that is. I'm going to wire up the front ditch lights and uh, the headlight and the number boards. And then I'll bring this back up and, and give you a picture of how it looks. Welcome back again folks. Uh, as you can see we've got some wiring done here. Uh, I'll go through this with you right quick. Uh, this wire here that is going to the left ditch light is going right up top here. This is your wire for the bottom ditch light. These are your two wires going to your headlights. Uh, they go right up here to the top where the other headlight went to. Uh, let's see right there and back here is your uh, aux 4 connection which is going to the number of boards so uh, we're gonna get this put back together here and get it on the track to test it uh, people have asked me about the length of the wires it's it's whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you want to use I always use a little bit extra so if for some reason I have to take it apart, I have some working room uh, getting a shell away from the, the engine. So um, 
I'm going to go ahead and, and get this all uh, put back together here and, and we'll go ahead and do a test on it. Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, before we put this together, uh, I'm sure a couple of y'all say, well, I would have tested first. I did, and I was just doing the programming. Because you have to activate Auxiliary 3 and Auxiliary 4 up here on top so that you can get those functions to work. Auxiliary 3, I made a Type 1 ditch light to match Aux 1. And Aux 4... Uh, which was turned off, I redid it and made it a dimmable headlight to fade in and out, and that's going to be for the number board. Please hold, I have a phone call. Okay, folks, we're back again. Uh, anyway, so I did the programming of the aux functions, and this is what they look like. First is the headlight. So as you can see, it's a lot brighter now. Uh, then you have your number boards, which uh, you can't read them because my phone isn't going to allow it to focus in on it very well, I don't think. No. But you can actually read the numbers really well. Um, and then, of course, you have your front ditch lights, which will be F6, which are right there. And, you know, when it goes into reverse, the way I have it set, uh, let's see, let's turn the headlight back on. Uh, when you go into reverse, uh, let's pull back. As you can see, the ditch lights go out, the headlight go out, but I have it set for the number board to stay on. And of course, your rear light comes on. And then you have your little tiny ditch lights that Atlas has included. Um, and again, when you hit the horn, you can see they both go off and come on together. Um, but if you look up here and forward, let's uh, zoom back out again a little bit. Finger out of the way. Now when you hit the horn, this is what you got. You have the alternating ditch lights. So, I'm going to get this put back together, and uh, once I get it put back together, I'm going to take it out there and put it on my layout, and we'll do a run, and I'll do, a, I'll do an after modification uh, video showing, you know, how it all works together when it's put together. So, hopefully this has helped some people out if they want to do this. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a note. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks. See ya.